So is it worth upgrading your Cura to 4.11? I'm not sure. It does promise smoother prints without ironing. So I want to give it a go and see if it actually works. So the big update in 4.11 promises smoother prints without ironing. And it enables a setting called Monotronic. I have no idea what it does or how it does it. Um, but we're going to test it out today. The pictures are for illustration purposes off the Oatmaker website. All the other updates are quickly uh, flying past the screen now. And if you want to read it, just pause the video. So this is just a random alphabet cube that I found on Thingiverse. I'm going to download that and print it as a test. And as you can see, my current version is 4.8. I've never had any issues with it. And I was quite reluctant to um, upgrade to 4.11. But I want to see if it's actually better. So to save time, I'm only going to print the top of the cube. So as you can see, it doesn't fill in everything all at once. It keeps going back and forth with little bits. Um, and I have no idea why. If anybody knows, can you let me know in the comments below why it leaves gaps and goes back to them at the end? So this is printed in Cura 4.8. Um, and yeah, it's not too bad. There is quite a few lines in it. And there is a few bits that feel quite rough. Um, but it's not too bad. So now I'm going to install... Cura 4.11, I'm going to see if the um, finish is actually better. You can tap in the search bar, Monotronic, and that will save you searching for it. And just um, tick the box to activate it. And uh, we'll see what it does. In the preview, it actually leaves a gap still. And it's, it's weird. It, it leaves a gap, then goes to the left-hand side, stops halfway up, fills the gap in, and then finishes it. So that path is actually worse than 4.8. Don't know if it's my printer needs calibrating, but I think this one actually looks worse um, than the 4.8. And this is 4.11 with Monotronic. Anyway, I'm going to uh, unselect that setting and I'm going to enable ironing. I always used to use ironing in the past, no matter what version of QRA I used. These are my current ironing settings. Um, and feel free to use these, see how you go with them. But yeah, I think it's loads better. So the way ironing works is it goes back over your print at the end um, with the nozzle heated up and it just squishes and smooths out all the um, lines by doing a final pass. It does take a couple of minutes extra, but I think it's worth the effort. Um, the right hand side's a lot smoother 